Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Saturday evening episode of Ted's Booze Cellar. Now, um, keeping in the theme with last night's episode, where we reviewed a drink that's fairly sweet, I'm going to be reviewing one tonight that could, in theory, be sweet, but I'm not entirely sure, perhaps in part because of the flavour. Uh, now, I know I've been doing quite a lot of sweet sort of alcoholic drinks recently, um, and I'm going to be doing probably another one tomorrow, but, um, oh, and like... I might not do as regular a um, schedule of episodes over Christmas um, and um, New Year's, but I, I'll um, I'll see to try and get him to do some and maybe do some more contemporary drinks that aren't as sweet as the ones I've been reviewing recently. But without further ado, tonight we're going to be taking a look at one of our old friends, Record League, and their um, premium botanicals range. Uh, now, basically, this is a version of Record Leg Cider that's just a little bit lighter, not as strong, um, and it's a bit more flavoursome, in theory, um, and it's got, like, flavours that are infused more with, like, a flowery sort of, like, aromic sort of, sort of, sense, I guess. Um, we've tried, uh, I think it was their berries and nettle sort of one before. Now, this one is rhubarb, lemon, and mint. Uh, pear cider blended with rhubarb, lemon, and infused with a hint of mint made from pure Swedish spring, rot spring water. It is gluten-free and it is vegan, so there's that. Um, it's only 4% alcohol, the volume, and it's a pretty simple drink. Again, like the berries and nettle one, there's not much to say about the bottle or the description. It's pretty sort of standard, really. So yeah, um, let's see what it smells like. I'm hoping it smells nice and fragrant. Mm. It does smell like a really nice, like, sort of pear air freshener, and not like a cloying, overly sweet one, so... Yeah, I'm going to give the smell, like, an 8.5 out of 10. It does smell really, really nice. I would like to have this as, like, an air freshener, maybe. Um, perhaps not as sweet, but it still smells It, pre it still smells pretty nice. So, let's see what it actually tastes like, and uh, give this the correct sort of judgment it deserves. So, bottoms up. Okay, that's definitely better than the previous Record Lake Botanicals one we tried. It's actually probably slightly sweeter, in fact, than the last one, than the last Record Lake Botanical one we reviewed. But I feel like the flavour is a little bit more balanced, and um, you can actually definitively taste a little bit of lemon, pear, rhubarb, and mint all in there. Um, so the flavour is really quite nicely balanced. Um, it's not too sweet, even though it is fairly sweet compared to the previous Record League Botanical we reviewed. Um, it's got a tiny bit of sharpness. I probably wish it was a tiny bit more sharp, but the flavour is very nicely balanced, so perhaps I wouldn't want to spoil it too much. I would say I probably couldn't imagine myself having a few of these in a row, probably only one or two at a time. Maybe with a meal, so this is probably a good meal drink. Probably to have good to have a couple with with a mate over a chat, and that's it. I mean, it's not very. I couldn't imagine myself having it in a wide variety of different circumstances, but and um and if I'm not in the mood, yeah, I probably wouldn't rate it that high. If I'm not in the mood, I'd probably only give it like a. Mm, If I'm not in the mood, I'll probably only give it in a 6.5. But if I am in the mood, I'll probably give it... Probably 7.75 again. Um, it's nice. Um, yeah, it's nice. But I just feel like it could be a little less sweet. Um... If it wasn't as sweet as it, as it is, or um, or it was perhaps like had a tiny bit of that sharp rhubarb flavour in it, which I feel is really missing, that's probably the weakest aspect of it, then I feel it could probably be bumped up to maybe even an 8.25. But as far as it goes, it is a really nice cider that I would thoroughly recommend, and I would definitely say as a buy. So yeah, definitely check this out. 
As always, um, if you like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you want to check out any of my other social medias or YouTube channels, check them out in the video description below. Leave any possible suggestions for future videos in the comment section below. And as always, stay safe, have fun, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.